Hi, I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet Weather Report. April followed on the heels of March by being cooler than normal compared to the average April air temperature for Oklahoma Mesonet sites over the last decade. April this year came in between 5 to 8 degrees below average northwest of a line from Ardmore to McAllister to Tahlequah. 5 to 8 degrees is a significant departure for a monthly average. April followed a cool March this year, with the majority of March's monthly average air temperatures 4 to 6 degrees below the mesonet average for the last decade. In 2012, winter crops commonly matured two weeks earlier than usual. April in 2012 came in with most of the state 3 to 4 degrees warmer than average. March in 2012 was even warmer, with monthly averages 5 to 8 degrees higher for most of Oklahoma. So the level of spring warmth in 2012 is being followed by a similar level of coolness this spring in 2013. What can we expect in May? It looks like spring's cooler weather trend continues. We have an increased chance of below normal temperatures for the month of May. Hopefully, while cooler, the freezing temperatures are over. Cooler temperatures will delay harvest of wheat and canola, but that's not all bad. Cooler temperatures means less stress and could help bump up wheat and canola yields. April's rainfall followed the trend of March this year with higher amounts across central parts of the state. The rainfall map for April clearly shows a band of above average rainfall with rainfall amounts of over 6 inches in the reddish, purple, and bright purple colored areas. Orange colored areas had over 4 inches. The brown areas on our map received 3 inches or more. Chickasha recorded the highest rainfall total at 10 and 58 hundredths inches. Shawnee also had over 10 inches of rain in April. Unfortunately for those in far western locations and in the Panhandle, April was another month of low rainfall. Boise City recorded no more than a spit of water with only 12 hundredths of an inch. The variation in rainfall really shows up on April's percent of normal rainfall map. The blue areas received close to twice their normal rainfall for April. The green areas in central and eastern Oklahoma receive close to 100 percent of normal rainfall. Those red and bright orange areas came in at only 40 percent or less of normal. The drought map released May 1st shows minor improvement. Unfortunately, there just hasn't been enough rain in western Oklahoma to push most of the areas in extreme or exceptional drought out of those categories. There's no clear rainfall trend for May precipitation in Oklahoma. Hopefully those areas that came up short again in April will finally get an extra dose of rain in May. Thanks for joining us. We hope you'll be with us again soon for another Mesonet Weather Report.